Welcome back, everybody. All right, it's a few days later now, and this carbon has a chance to dry up. It's nice and hard, so I don't have any issues with flipping the plug over now. So you can see I've got all the foam supports have been removed. And uh, the goal is just to pick it up and, you know, rotate it 180 degrees over on the other side. So got a few of my friends showing up later today. Obviously, this is a little bit large for me to do by myself. Um, I'm guessing it weighs maybe 300 pounds all up. So uh, not terribly difficult. It's just kind of awkward. So stand by for that, and then we will get going on the other side. All right, she's flipped. I totally meant to take a time lapse, and I didn't, so I completely failed on that. Um, most of this is just sanding sludge from when I was sanding the other side. So it obviously comes off easy, and you can see that it's nice and shiny underneath, so it won't take a whole lot. Uh, I do have some unsanded filler right there that I need to work on. Um, but I'm going to work on getting this side cleaned up and figure out what needs to be done, which I don't think is a whole lot. It's really in, in pretty good shape. I'm pretty happy with that. So, pull the tape and the splitter boards off. You can see that I, I fully sanded and polished the whole bottom, so there's, I know there's nothing to be done there. Um, the only areas of concern are going to be, you know, right in this area right here. Everything else is good to go. It's, you can see it's still nice and shiny back here so it shouldn't take too long before that's ready to mold and um i couldn't wait i already popped one splitter board off so this one is loose so you can see there's the set this down this is the flange surface it's kind of dull uh because that's just the surface of the wood that it was molded to but it's it's nice and smooth so i'm happy with that i'm gonna start popping the rest off and uh get going all right, I've started removing the splitter plates on the bottom side here. You can see that it's loose here. So I just got a little plastic wedge underneath here. And I just wanted to show you how easy uh, these actually come off. You can see I'm just running it down the sides here and it's popping off quite nice. So we're gonna need two hands to do this, but I'll show you what it looks like after I pop it off of here. So that one popped off nice and easy. And I wanted to show you um, this yellow stuff in here is the filleting wax. If you remember from the last episode, I used a little bit of filleting wax and kind of shoved it down in there to make sure the gap was nice and tight. So that's still soft, so I can just take this little tool and that just comes right off. So a little bit of cleanup work, but you can see with just about a few seconds of effort, um, that's a nice clean line there. So we're gonna keep going. All right, bottom side boards are all off. And just semi-cleaned. I haven't really done anything yet except for pop them off and get rid of the loose stuff. But look at that nice, perfect seam line. So this side's going to go pretty quick, especially since I don't have to make, you know, any splitters for this side because this half of the mold becomes the new flange. So I'll wax and PVA this and then start with gel coat and carbon um, for the other half of the mold. So we should be done making molds here real soon, man. And I'm excited about that. I've been making molds for couple of years so I'm kind of over that I just did a quick wipe down just um, water and a rag to get all the sludge off so I was correct that the whole thing is in actually pretty good shape um, there are some sand scratches I don't know if you can see in here but there are some fairly deep scratches where I never finished the body work on this side so they're just contained kind of in this area right here so those will be easy to take care of. I will probably um, put another coat of primer on this side um, over the surface area here. Sand and polish that. And then, um, yeah, then we should be good to go. So this side's all super nice, nice and smooth here. This is all great. You can maybe see some of the sand scratches here. Um, there we go. So again, I, I can only really work on one part of the plug at a time. I kind of had to do it in pieces. Just simply because it's so big and I can't really flip it easily by myself. So I opted to do it in, in basically in quarters, but uh, now we're going in half. So it's just this one little area, like from, from here to right where the after the canopy is. Everything else is in great shape. So I'm going to get started on that and um, hopefully we can be polishing it in a couple of days and it'll be ready to mold right after that. 
All right, I put a quick skim coat of filler over the scratches, sanded that all back, so no issues there. It's all nice and straight. So I'm going to put some primer on it, and then uh, after that, we'll start polishing and be pretty close to being ready to mold. All right, I got the primer all applied on there. And, uh, you know, unlike other folks, I don't know if you know or not, but I roll my primer on. I don't spray it. Well, that's not true. Sometimes I spray primer, but when I'm doing small stuff like this, um, I find it's easier to roll it on because, one, I don't have to clean my spray gun. Two, I don't have to mask anything. Uh, there's also no overspray, so the odor is much, much less. And with the roller, you actually can get quite a bit on there in a shorter period of time than spraying it. Now, the downside is, is there's a little bit of texture to it, but this urethane primer sands so nice, um, I really I really don't mind that. I'll take that as a trade-off. So I'm going to let this cure. Hopefully by tonight I can start wet sanding it, and then from there it's just on to polishing. Primer's cured up, and um, I've got some guide coat sprayed on here. I've just started to dry block it with 150. I'm just basically trying to knock down the orange peel. I'm not really cutting it completely straight at this point. So I'll do 150 and then 220 dry as well, and then I'll start hitting it wet after that. And um, I'll take the whole surface down to at least 1500 before I polish it, um, maybe even 2000. We'll just see how it goes. Well, I ended up doing a bunch of work off camera. That just typically seems how it goes. I'm not the greatest filmmaker, obviously, but um, what I've done is finished sanding the whole fuselage to 2000 grit and then i just got done actually hitting it with the buffer and some compounds so you can see it's already shining up pretty nicely um everywhere looks pretty good so i'm happy with that uh next step is to hit it with finesse which is a finer compound which will actually bring out the shine and um i've got to go around and just clean up the splitters in a couple of places i've still got some pva on the splitters it's kind of a pain to get off of here so you see some of these little spots that's just PVA, needs to be washed off. And then it's ready to mold. Um, unfortunately, um, I'm leaving in just a couple of days for the Reno Air Races, and I'm gonna be there for over a week, so this will not get molded before I go to Reno. But it will be, uh, it will be done soon after I get back. So I will try to bring you guys as much coverage from Reno as I can. So anyway, here we are, progress. So, as is typical of me, I didn't film a whole bunch of stuff, but obviously the other half of the mold is done now. And um, I've also drilled all the locating holes and bonded in these nuts. Uh, done some trimming and sanded, so it's just about ready to come apart. I still have a little bit of trimming to do. Uh, you can see right here and there I need to trim a little bit. And same on the other side, but other than that, um, it's pretty much ready to come apart. So I'm going to trim these little spots up and I think I'm going to pop it loose today. So I still have stands to weld together, but haven't been able to get that done yet. So shop is a mess. I'm going to clean all this up and pull all the, uh, all the little clamps out of the nuts there. And we'll see if we can't get at least some of it apart. Maybe the tail. Not sure I can get the fuse half apart with, without some help. So stay tuned and I want to show you guys this real quick these are click bond uh, nut plates they're pretty cool you just drill a hole for the size in this case it's quarter inch and uh, I use high sole and you basically just feed the silicone guide through and then pull it tight and it and it clamps the uh, the nut down against the surface but the neat thing about it is you let it cure like that and then you can reach in here and you grab the silicone clamp and you pull it out like that and none of the glue sticks to that and you have a nice clear hole through there and it's lined up perfectly so i really like these things they work well they're expensive but uh, i think in the long run they're worth it i really shouldn't be doing this but i just can't wait um you know i really need to get these stands built and get the molds up on the stands before i do this but I guess a little bit won't hurt. So I popped the right lower stab and elevator mold off and uh, the plug came off nice and clean. So that's good. And the mold itself uh, looks pretty good as well. So I see a few little things that need some attention, but you know, a simple sand and polish will take care of that. So 
I think I might try to get the upper half or the right half of the fuselage side off. And then that's probably where I'm gonna have to stop. But uh, let me get after it and see what I can do here. All right, I thought I would share with you guys the best sound in the world. I'm not sure I can do this one-handed, but take a listen. Anybody who's molded anything before knows that that cracking sound is awesome. So um, I'm gonna keep at it. So I got major portions of it loose, like right here you can see. That's loose right there. All the way around all the flanges loose. Um, you can see I got wedges stuck in here. It's gapped up nice. This is loose here, all the way down, but it's stuck a little bit in the middle here. And honestly, I just don't have time to mess with it right now. It's Christmas morning and uh, I gotta start cooking Christmas dinner. So that's gonna be it for now, guys. Um, watch the Facebook page and of course the next video will be the molds all cracked open and polishing them and maybe even start building some parts. Thanks for following along, I appreciate it. I'm out. All right, I realized that was kind of mean, so I can't leave you guys hanging. I came back out here and I actually got it to release and it released perfectly, so I'm super stoked. Um, here's the mold, everything looks perfect. Uh, I'm really happy that my, I don't know if you can see it in the video here, but these are my trim lines for the canopy. So that all came out nicely. And uh, this will this all get cut off here, so don't mind that. Uh, same with the cowling trim line. There's a trim line right here. So that all came out really nice. Um, the flanges all look perfect. You know, they'll need a little cleanup. There's a little wax on them, but no big breakouts. Uh, no nothing, man. It all looks really, really nice. So, yay, I'm really happy. Merry Christmas, y'all.